Welcome back to my home. Uh, today, I'm wanting to give you kind of like a little bit of an update tour of my house. Because as you guys know, I purchased this home back in July. I did an empty house tour for you guys, which if you have yet to watch that, I will link it in a card up above. And we have now moved in about a month and a half, two months ago. And I wanted to share with you guys kind of like an update where our things are, furniture in the space, and give you like a little update tour of the house. So one of the first things I wanted to do as well is also kind of talk to you guys about how this used to be a duplex because I feel like there's a lot of new viewers that might not know this was a duplex. And how it was actually a duplex is this was completely walled off here. So then this right here, was one unit, like you'd walk up and then that's one unit. And then this actually has a completely separate entrance across the way to the other unit. So there's really two entries to this home and there's doubles of everything because it was a duplex. And that's kind of what I wanna walk through and share with you guys. So I actually ended up adding this archway here and I loved that there was electrical above it because it just seems intentional. But let's walk into our first living room. This is the lower living room. And currently there's quite a bit of furniture in here as you guys might be able to see. And I will say that I didn't design this um, I mean, it's really just like the excess of furniture from the old apartment, plus some extra items in here that Justin and Marie kind of like pushed together to make a living room arrangement, which actually has been really nice because whenever we do any sort of like going out or to dinner or hosting, it's always at our house. Like our friends always come here. So I like being able to have an area where everyone can sit down and there's multiple kind of like conversation areas. So this is the current living room. I love the fireplace in here. I do want to remove these little corbel pieces. And I also have this incredible sofa. I love this couch so much. You guys are going to see this soon. It's from Castlery. It's the most incredible couch ever. And I think it's going to stay in this room. It's just a perfect fit in here. Some Target chairs and this this room still really is kind of storagey in a sense to where it doesn't have too much of a design yet, but I'm ready to paint this room. We're working on the upstairs living room right now, so just haven't really gotten to this space. There's this really cute little bookcase over here, and then these sconces are original to the house. I love them. And by the way, you guys, the vintage drop is actually today. It's probably in about an hour. I think this video is going up at 9. It's at 10 a.m. on Lone Fox, so if you want to shop the drop, definitely make sure to check that out at 10. But let's go into here. So this actually is the door for the lower unit. So if we didn't have that archway over there this is how you would enter you'd walk through here and then this formerly used to be the dining room of the lower unit but as you guys know I transitioned this into my movie theater room slash game room and I love this room so much it's one of the only finished spaces that has been completed in the house um, and I kind of transitioned down here just because I ended up finding this sofa and then I had it reupholstered and I was just so excited once I saw the reupholstered couch to get to designing the space. So that's kind of why this space came to be pretty quickly compared to some of the other ones. Transitioning into this room, this is the lower breakfast nook. I love this breakfast nook because this one actually has full length windows. So it's super bright in here. Whereas the upper one has um, like, they're mid-height windows, but that's actually nice because I want to put a banquette in there, which I'll share with you guys, and that allows for it. This actually, I don't know if I want it to be a breakfast nook. There's something about me wanting to convert the lower kitchen, which is through here, and this breakfast nook into something other than a kitchen because I really don't need two kitchens. We have a full kitchen upstairs. All of the actual ovens and like um, ranges, microwaves, everything, is completely unattached from the wall, if that makes sense. So we can remove all of this and have like a tiled room with a sink. So I don't know what I wanna make this. I almost wanna make it like a craft room of some sort, like where I could clean up over here. I'm able to like, I don't know, like maybe have a work desk here. I wanna turn it into something useful and I don't have use for a second kitchen. So if you guys have any ideas, totally let me know. Kind of wanted to also transition this into like a snack bar for the movie theater room. I thought that could be cute. Just something different than your traditional kitchen because I just know I won't get too much use out of it. But I'm definitely keeping all the original tile work in here because it's one of the reasons I purchased the home. This arch behind me is one of my favorite vignettes. And then right around the corner, this is considered the butler's pantry, but um, it's a lot of cabinetry. So tons of storage. We have like full length cabinets up here and it's actually still pretty great quality. So I just don't know. 
I don't know what I want to do. And I love this entire wall of green tile with the checkerboard on the bottom. A lot of you are wondering if the hutch blocked this entry and it definitely doesn't. It's just a little bit of a tighter entry, but we have so many entries to the movie room that I wanted the hutch to be such a focal in there. So I ended up leaving that. And then as you walk out here, the first room in the hallway is my storage room. And I don't know if you guys have seen this. Actually, I think I've shared it just quickly on the channel. So you might've seen it in a couple videos, but you know my old Lone Fox room in the previous apartment. This is the updated version. It's actually probably around the same size. I didn't want to increase my um, like storage space too much. I want to still reserve what I have and what I use and kind of like filter it in and out. So I just don't have like an excess of items, if that makes sense. But a lot of this over here is just pieces that I like to keep on hand, like this really, really cool taper holder that you got. It's like a driftwood piece. Anything that I find that I personally want to use in my home or my designs, I store on these shelves. And then all of this over here is kind of my craft supplies, paint, glues, all that sort of stuff. And then, I mean, more storage over here, as you guys can see as well. But this is sort of just a storage room and it serves its purpose. So let's head out to the hallway and we're going to go into the bathroom. This is the pink bathroom. And I love the pink bathroom. I really, really do. I feel like this bathroom is very hit or miss. Like some people love it, some people don't like it. And I feel like the people that don't like it are just kind of relating it more so to my other designs in the house and seeing that it won't match the same aesthetic. But I'm really gonna try to make this pink work. I don't know how, I have no idea, but it's going to be a fun journey. And I feel like it's just such a focal point of this home and something about the vibes in this pink bathroom like i will walk down here and go to the bathroom as opposed to mine because the vibes in here are just so nice it feels bright and airy and i love the color it's just a very happy color um so i kind of want to keep this bathroom as is i might paint the ceiling a color to maybe tie it together i'm thinking about adding like a shower curtain above like one of those oval metal shower curtains above this shower here to add some more pattern. I just need to break up a little bit of the pink and add some other elements from other places in the house to make it all tie together. But I do love this bathroom and it's again, another reason why I purchased the house. So I will be keeping the pink tile. We are going to go to the last two rooms at the end of the hallway. This room is my vintage room, as I call it. It's where I've been storing all the vintage items. It's actually going to be like my workshop studio. So the other room was storage where everything's stored on the shelving. It's not pretty. This room I actually wanna make pretty. I'm gonna give you a quick look at it. Looks absolutely insane at the moment. That's all you get. It's currently where I've been storing all the vintage for the vintage drops, where I've been photographing all the items for the online store. And so it's kind of just like a little bit of a mess at the moment, um, but I do wanna get some really beautiful shelving in there and clean it up and actually make it a very presentable like studio space that I feel inspired to work in. Um, we have some great clothes storage here. And then this is my guest room for my parents. I consider it to be my parents' bedroom, if you will. It's still a little Christmassy because I actually ended up setting this up for Christmas when they came and stayed with me. And it's just stayed the same since. We do have another guest room upstairs though. And the thing I love about this room in particular is it does have a bathroom attached to it. And the bathroom is just so cute. It's pink and green as well. It's a really small one. But the thing about this bathroom is it is so damaged. Like the tile is so, so damaged. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to keep this bathroom as is. I'm probably going to reach out to like a tile preservation company and see what could happen in here. But for the moment, it's just a small little like powder bathroom, but it is attached. It also has a shower and a bathtub in there. I mean, that's the entire lower floor. Let's head out and back up to the top. So this is the main living room. And this is the entire reason I purchased this house. As you guys know, this ceiling here, the cathedral ceiling, which actually didn't have any electrical in it. I had to add the electrical, found this chandelier. It's a 1920s Gothic revival chandelier from Long Beach. I am obsessed with it. I'm doing some built-in bookshelves against the back there that you guys can see. And those are going to be changing so much. That's just like the base structure of the bookshelves at the moment. They are going to be changing and looking extremely high end and very built in in the end. Working on the fireplace, I actually did the paint and I didn't love the texture that I had created. So I did another layer of plaster and I'm gonna try to get it a little more textury so it matches um, kind of the original texture on here. My Monterey chairs, which I do wanna get reupholstered for this room, but once it's fully painted, I'll decide on fabric for there. This is my absolutely incredible Pottery Barn sofa, you guys. I just love this couch. It's like a brown leather. It's just really, really beautiful. 
And then um, in the back here is a little room off the living room that I'm going to be turning into my little office space. Currently, it, it houses everything that was in the living room. So there's like a lot of random trees. <laughs> there's a TV in here. There's pottery. There's a lot in here. It's just temporary. We're going to be moving it back in once all the painting is done. And that's why there's just stuff everywhere in this room because it really is a work in progress. We are going to work our way into the dining room. The dining room hasn't had much happen to it, but it actually kind of has because previously these doors here used to be a tiny, tiny flap doors. I converted it into an arch that they made it into and this leads into our breakfast nook. This over here actually used to be tiny flap doors about right here. And then I ended up adding in this entire archway here. Um, originally I wanted to remove all the walls, but they were structural and it was gonna cost over a hundred thousand dollars to remove them i said absolutely not so i did this nice big arch here that way we kind of have this coffee bar um just like moment and i love how it's centered through the arch when you're in the back of the room so this is the kitchen the start of the kitchen and i painted the cabinetry van buren brown this is another room in the house that is done so the only two rooms that i've completed are the movie theater room and the kitchen as you can see, brown is definitely a trend at the moment um, for myself, I love it. And this is Van Buren Brown, all the hardware is from Rejuvenation. And this really is my favorite room in the house for sure. I put so much time, so many hours and so much love into the space. I found this incredible marble from a stone yard and then I had it completely custom cut to fit everything. I literally lay the template for every single piece of marble so that it flowed together, had them create a sink out of the marble. It was such a cool experience. Experience. I found these vintage lights. So much happened in here, like literally built the entire range hood. New stove just arrived, as you guys saw in the last video, just a couple weeks ago. And this room is finally complete and I just love it. I did plaster on the walls from me Oded. It looks so good. We did this by hand. In here is the breakfast nook. And this is what I was saying, that the windows are kind of like a little higher than the other ones. So we can actually do a banquette if I wanted to. And I want to know your guys' thoughts. What are your thoughts on me doing a banquette here? Whether it be like a kind of like a half round bank banquette, but with this table, because I created this table from an old Moroccan um, tabletop and then I added a terracotta base to it. So it's kind of like a custom table, but I don't know if it's gonna look great with a banquette, but I, something about me wants a banquette in here. I feel like it'd just be so pretty and then have it like upholstered with a beautiful fabric. But these chairs are really cool. They're from Badlands. And that is kind of like the dining kitchen breakfast nook area, which is very similar to the below, but this room below is the movie theater. So it would have been the dining room as it is in here, um, but the dining room in here is definitely a huge work in progress. I really haven't done too much, but let's head to the hallway so I can share with you guys some of the rooms up here. So this is Marie's bedroom and my house actually faces a red home and the red home bounces red light in here. I need to like ask them if they'll paint their house, but I haven't got the courage to ask them yet. So I'm um, gonna do that very shortly. I'm just kidding. I don't know what I'm gonna do, but I'm gonna figure it out. Marie's room does have a little bit of a red tint to it, but it's, it's not too bad. Her setup is pretty similar to the previous room, but the previous owners actually bought almost all the furniture in her space. So... We just kind of brought over her mattress and some of the other pieces that were left and tried to create a cute little space in here, brought the rug from the living room. We're gonna be working on the bedrooms shortly, probably after finishing the living room up here, then maybe transition into the bedroom spaces. There's a lot to be worked on up here though. So let me share with you guys the other rooms that need a lot of work. This is my bathroom and I don't like it at all. Like I really, really don't like this bathroom. I don't like the gray tile. It's just so dark in here and just gray. Also mixed with the stark white. I feel like the dark gray with the stark white is just giving cold. It's just not my favorite. The, the bathtub's plastic. Let's actually transition to my bedroom because I threw away the door that went here. It was in the bathroom and then it got thrown away. Couldn't tell you how. So I don't have a bathroom door to my room I'm like that. And I love my room. It gets such, such great lighting. I have really everything from my previous room in here. It's my old nightstands, old bed, or not old bed, um, but my old headboard. I mean, this is my room. This is where I sleep. This is where I edit my videos. I don't really know what I want to do in here. I'm not sure of the color. I'm not sure of the style. I haven't really done anything for my own room yet. I've been focusing on the main, more essential rooms that everyone's in. So once I get here, hopefully we'll have some good ideas. But if you guys have anything, please let me know in the comment section below. But I'm gonna take you guys to actually probably the last room in the house, which is the last guest room, which looks like this. Honestly, this guest room 
is not very guest friendly. Like we have an air mattress on the floor, twin one, and a dining chair in the corner. <laughs> really, we had a couple of our friends stay over one night. We blew up the air mattress, popped it in this room, and I really have not done anything in here. This is actually Marie's bathroom through here. So she uses this one. Below would be the room that my parents have, the guest room attached with the pink bathroom. So this one actually was redone, very similar style to mine, um, which this one needs completely redone as well. We're gonna be redoing that. There's a laundry room right here, uh, but there's so much. We have like appliances, there's a lot happening in there. So I'll pop in some clips from the empty house tour so you can see the laundry room in case you haven't seen it yet. That is the entire house in its current state after moving in and sharing it with you. Actually, let's go to my room and do that outro. I'm in the bathroom. <laughs> so that's the tour of my house after being in here for a couple of months and working on it for about the past, I'd say seven months or so, I ended up getting this house in July. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I just wanted to give you an update to kind of share with you how it's looking, bring you a little bit into my life, I guess, and share with you guys like my house. Um, and I hope that you enjoyed it. I would love any of your opinions, any of your ideas, absolutely anything you have, leave it in the comment section below because I really want this video to kind of be like a creative, inspiring section in the comments that can spark ideas for some of the rooms we can kind of bounce ideas off of each other so totally leave those and also do not forget to check out the vintage drop today which is at 10 a.m. over on lonefox.com I'll catch you guys all on my next one bye